Um, my name is Ray Ajemian, and I'm chair of the um, Tree Committee for Bridgewater, and I just want to welcome you for our second annual uh, Arbor Day event. I want to read a quote. The quote is from Aldo Leopold, which you probably never heard of. He died 50 years ago, um, more than that, actually. Um, and he was one of our first naturalists. But I think it's fitting that what he said fits today. He said, acts of creation are ordinarily reserved for gods and poets, but humbler folk may circumvent this restriction if they know how. To plant a tree, for example, one, one need be neither god nor poet, one need only a shovel. I thought that was fitting. The, the, uh, the tree committee people that are here, I just want to introduce them. Shirley Krasinski, raise your hand if you don't know her. Pat, Neary is here. By the way, Pat is the Rotary Award person for Bridgewater for this year. Paul Holmes, who you'll hear in a minute. Others um, help a lot that simply aren't here. Um, uh, Bill Malpey, who is the tree warden, is in Florida right now. Um, James Hayes Bohannon is not here. He, he teaches the college. Uh, Paul DaCosta is essential for the tree committee. He's the head of highway here. The tree is in by because of him. And Josh McGraw, who is uh, the assistant to um, the town manager, um, could not make it today. But he is very important for the tree committee in terms of a liaison between us and, and the town manager. Um, I believe that is it in terms of town officials that are here, unless anybody um, Michael uh, Dutton, town manager, could not be here. Um, he did have a statement, though, which I want to read. The Arbor, this, Arbor Day, uh, this, this Arbor Day is a moment of tremendous pride for Bridgewater. Through the unwavering dedication of our citizen volunteers on the tree committee, Ray Jemmy and Shirley Krasinski, Nicole Holmes, James Hayes Mahanen, Pat Neary, and Bill Malpey, we achieved a fantastic accomplishment. Bridgewater is officially a tree city once again. Trees are the cornerstones of a healthy environment. They purify our air, help reduce stormwater runoff, and add natural beauty to our streets and neighborhoods. Thanks to the tree committee tireless efforts, this year marks our second consecutive Arbor Day with the tree planting initiative. Their commitment to a greener Bridgewater is truly inspiring. A special thanks goes to Roadway Superintendent Paul DaCosta, who serves as a virtual resource and liaison for the tree committee. The town manager encourages all who share a passion for the environment, stewardship, and understand the importance of trees to get involved. Plant a tree in your yard, volunteer with the tree committee, or simply appreciate the existing trees that enhance our town. Working together, we can cultivate a greener, healthier future for Bridgewater. Enjoy the event and thank you for those on the tree committee for their hard work. I thought that was very nice. Now, Mr. Dutton mentions the fact that we are a tree city. I want you to be aware that the fact that we are a tree city, which is not a simple process, you have to apply for it every year, there's a, enough uh, red tape to go through to do it, is all due to this woman here. did it by herself, believe me, I, mean, I, I stress that. So, Nicole, I want Nicole to take over and talk about the, uh, the contest yeah. and the tree city. And if anybody wants, at the end, any pamphlets on growing trees, we have one. Thank you, Ray. Um, can everyone hear me? Yes. Okay. yes. Awesome. So, yeah, welcome to our second Arbor Day uh, celebration here in Bridgewater. Um, th this is really exciting for the tree committee. Um, to sort of reinitiate this process. Um, it was really important in one of our early goals to get Bridgewater designated as a tree city um, through the Tree City USA once again. Um, and doing a little research, it looks like we had a pretty steady um, pattern of being tree city. You have to reapply every year until 2006. And then we were you know, no longer, just in part because no one was able to submit the application. So. We were able to pull that all together and um, we're just recently, probably about three weeks ago, heard that we, for 2023, were designated as Tree City USA. So we're starting to get our, we have some lawn signs that you'll start to see around town 
and we're also going to be able to get the updated street signs. So as you enter Bridgewater from the neighboring communities, you'll be able to see that. And there'll be a little tag underneath in which we can update every year to you know, track how many years, one year, two year, three years. And there's also some additional awards we could get over time. So as you go into other communities, you may see that they won a growth award and that's because they have done some extra things and maybe we can start to think about getting those hopefully soon. So yeah, just a little bit about the Tree City USA. Um, it's one of the major programs of the Arbor Day Foundation um, and it's a four step program that's really just intended for a community to be able to acknowledge that they care about trees um, and to really that they care about maintaining and growing their tree canopy. Um, and it really just shows the general commitment to the environment we typically celebrate, you know, on Arbor Day. Um, the four standards are one, to maintain a tree board. So the designation of uh, about a year or two ago to reestablish the tree committee has allowed us to um, get that checkbox. Um, the second criteria is to have a community tree ordinance. We have one in place actually that's been in place for quite a while. Um, we're working on some updates that ha you know haven't come through yet, but that will be um, we currently are in compliance because we align with the state rules for public street trees. We have to spend at least two dollars per capita on urban forestry program. And right now we qualify for that because the DPW is actually performing urban forestry ta um, tasks. Most of it is um, contracted out, but all of that counted. Uh, but all that to say, you know, right now the DPW director we've talked about, he's, they're doing so much work just under what they're required to do with their work in streets and still trying to maintain um, our urban tree canopy. So hopefully uh, we can build back, um, you know, more staff over time that can help maintain our aging trees. And finally, the fourth criteria is to celebrate Arbor Day, which we are doing today. So we are you know, already tracking our progress this year so that we can reapply for Tree City USA in 2024. And one of the things that I personally want to dig into now that we have the designation is to learn more about the opportunities we get from that. We now will have more um, opportunities to get grants, you know, earn these awards, and there's more resources and training through the National Arbor Day Foundation as well as through the Massachusetts DCR. So we are looking forward to that. Um, I will just say that just an observation, and I don't know if everyone shares the same observation, we've been having some really bad storms, climate is changing, and I personally just notice trees down all the time. And then I think, do I see that many trees being planted to offset the number of trees we're losing? And, you know, without doing any science, I'm sure the answer is no. So our committee is really, you know, focused on planting more trees in the public spaces, which would be along streets and parks and schools. Uh, but everybody in the community hopefully can do their part in taking care of the trees on their own properties um, and trying to plant new trees as old ones come down. So actually we should all, the one last thing I want to mention is thank you to Weston Nurseries for donating the tree that we are planting here today. I noticed, thank you very much. We had a bunch of candidates for where we were going to plant our ceremonial tree for Arbor Day. I happened to notice this stump, you know, here and going all the way back to when my son came to school here. So this seemed like a great opportunity. Um, and also to invite our friends here, which I'll introduce now. So the um, Williams Intermediate School. Oh, let's look inside. <laughs> the Williams Intermediate School fifth graders this year have actually um, participated in the Arbor Day poster contest. So almost, I believe, pretty much all the, there's three teams of fifth graders and they all participated in this Arbor Day poster contest. In Massachusetts, it is um, put on by the Massachusetts Department of Conservation and Recreation. And here in Bridgewater, we asked the fifth graders to submit these posters 
the theme was healthy trees, healthy towns. And the students themselves with the teachers self-selected three amazing, amazing posters. Um, and those of those three students, we were only able to send one along to the state. But luckily we have all the students and some of their friends. So can you guys come up here to the poster? Well, I want to introduce you all individually, so let's start with Tegan. This is Tegan, um, and this was her poster. Um, you are a way better artist than I <laughs> have ever been in my life. Um, did you want to tell us anything about what you drew? So, um, I decided to uh, draw a girl holding a tree, and she's kind of like putting in hope in that tree to help it grow. And then, if you go back on those two girls, do you want they love and kind of hooked into that. There's solar panels which also help. And then like just a girl um, trying to help to raise money for the house. That's cool. And those were all the things we noticed when we looked at the poster. We really loved how the girl was holding the tree, that the tree was in care of this girl. Yep, we noticed the someone doing gymnastics and having a lemonade stand and just celebrating, you know, trees and their environment. I think I saw, you know, the fact that there was habitat, there's birds, there's squirrels. Um, yeah, you did an amazing, amazing job. Let's go to Evan Sorelli. of the tree which was amazing and he's got some flowers and you know things that we really love too all right so Joyella send along Tegan's poster to the state and they said they would announce the winners in April so uh, your teacher might hear if we win the award but what what happened is I think there's some cool prizes like an ice cream party for your class or you know another tree to be planted on the property so fingers crossed that the soul it's out of our hands but the DCR will you know agree that this is an amazing poster Yeah, well, thanks everyone for coming oh, out. Oh, no, not that. Thank you for celebrating your everyday contest. <laughs> yes, yes. Thank you. Yeah. That was great. Yeah. Thank you. Um, the last thing is we'll have a ceremonial shovel. Oh, yes. Um, <laughs> I, I want to stress, as Nicole said, this uh, cherry tree picked out by uh, Shirley yeah. was donated to the town by Western Nursery. They gave it to us. So, I, the last thing we have to do is put a few shovelfuls of dirt, <laughs> and uh, maybe one of you can do it. <laughs> Yay! And they get to miss math in 
social studies. <laughs> <laughs> While, that, while they're doing that, I just want to put in a plug for Weston Nursery. Uh, Weston happens to be one of the best nurseries in the Commonwealth, and uh, we were fortunate that they decided to have a branch of the nursery down here on Summer Street heading toward Middleborough. And so I would encourage you to look at their stock. They are A class number one, without a doubt. And we're happy to have them as our neighbors. Thank you.